So hi, I'm Alex, a PJ Golf professional and top 50 golf coach. You're at the home of simple daily golf tips here, so make sure you subscribe and get involved and we could be picking your tip out next. Today, I mean, I've seen this, um, honestly, drives me crazy. This advice given out on YouTube all the time of how you shower the club and get it into this slot, this powerful slot here. When people say just drop the hands in here, it's honestly affecting your game so much. You're gonna lose power, you're gonna lose club face control, and you're not even gonna shower the club. What I sort of call it, it's like sort of just placing it there and making it look good rather than actually performing good. Two totally different things, but I've got a little three stage process in under five minutes that you're gonna absolutely, well, blow your mind how easy it is. So nice and simple, this is the first stage, learning to sort of fire that lower body and initiate it. Like I've got the buggy here, you don't have to have a buggy, you could do this at home, get a, get a wall, driving range post, anything. Right hand on, palm facing you, left hand on, or glove hand sort of, knuckles facing you, so as I've got there. Now, what the first thing here we've got to realise is to start down, so imagine this is top of the backswing, we want this to happen. And this is a great way. So if you keep just a light grip pressure on something and get that feeling of everything sort of below your rib cage, so your hips and your knees, transferring and rotating. And all I want you to do is just make, let's say 10 reps of that. Don't be jagged, just be soft. Just do it relax, just as I'm doing there. Dead easy, dead easy that. Okay, and not at any point have I told you to drop that club. That's the first stage. Let's now jump on second stage. And, and this is where you can really start to build things. And one thing I'd say with all these stages, they're really easy to follow and jump back into if you're not struggling or feeling like you've lost a part of the game. Okay, so again, don't need the golf club just yet. This is something you can do at home. So right now you're watching, you're not going to range tomorrow, something you can do. Now for a right-hander, what you're going to do, you're going to hook your right hand under your left elbow. For a left-hander, do the opposite, okay? Like this. You're going to go top of the backswing. What I want you to do, I want you to feel as though you leave your hand where it is. Don't even touch it. All I want you to do with your hand is leave it there and let the lower body turn and bring it through. Now look at this. I'm here, lower body goes, and my right shoulder then works under and through. All I would be feeling here is I'm making a little bit of that motion with my hand. Not at any point am I doing this. So my nice simple thought so far for you, to start down below the rib cage, that's all that happens, and we're trying to leave those hands up as high as we can for as long as we can. So let's now jump into the third stage. Now this is where this drill is so, so much more practical than I usually see, right? We've got a little bit of a process. It's easy to follow, and at the end of the day, right, we're here to play better golf. And if it's practical, easy to follow, we can play better golf, right? Okay, stage three. This is where we're gonna start to some balls away. But before you hit, just make some practice swings emulating what we did with this across us, okay? So what I said to you was, leave our hands up here for as long as we can. Now look at the difference in this. I'm in that position, but look how much more dynamic I am. Now, anybody can do this. Anybody can get better at this. Just have three or four reps. My concept here is I'm leaving my hands up there for as long as I can. So three golf balls away, start slow, then go a little bit quicker, then go a little bit quicker again. So here we go. I'm gonna do this like, the way I think about this is like gears in the car, gear one, gear two, gear three. So play really close attention to how these gears change and do, do make sure you follow this. Now have a look at all these shots. Let's start with gear one. Now play close attention and this is the slowest gear. This is one of the slowest tempo. And you can see I'm trying to leave my hands up as high as they can for as long as they can to start this downswing. Then move into shot number two. Again, I'm trying to do the same thing, some great tempo, but still same swing thought high as you can for as long as you can. And that's the beauty of doing these gears. And then you're finally, right? You're finally then into your final ball where this is what I kind of count as my fairway finer speed out on the course. But look, I'm doing the same move, doing it slower, get a bit more body aware. So build up to gear three and that's the one you take to the course. Honestly, it's gonna be so good for your game. Don't listen to the rest of the rubbish. Use this and it's gonna help your game. 